Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to a new series in the original series, which was the New Force series, but this time we'll be go going over how to build a Minecraft mod in the Minecraft version 1.2. 21 which was released a few days ago uh, and it will we will be exploring how to just create a basic Minecraft mod similar to how we did originally with 1.20.x so to begin with you just want to head over to the link provided in the description below and you want to go to tutorial mod and you just want to go to setup because that's where the initial code you'll need will be available and you just want to go ahead and download it so once you've downloaded, you want to open it up in your uh, ID that you're using. I'll be using IntelliJ in this tutorial. It's not really a matter which one you use as long as it's built for the uh, ability to code properly. And now, if we go in, we, first of all, you want to just uh, change the, uh, the details in our gradles.property file to match what we need. So, uh, as you can see, the version here is in the new version I've currently set is 21.0.8. If you're interested in seeing what the new versions are you can just head over to neoforge website which i'll also link in the description below and you just want to check what the version is and since it's currently beta there will be a lot of changes as new as 1.21 is re relatively uh new so to begin with you just you want to head over here and you just want to change a few things so first of all we want to change our mo mod id to tutorial mod and you want to change the mod name to tutorial mod and the version you can keep the same the mod group id so the mod group id is you want to first of all just delete these here are the ones provided by new forge which we don't need and in here you want to do the following so you want to do new and you want to do io.github.real user it's my so yours for example if you have a github account and username is bob it'll be io.github.bob but because for me i'm using mine i'll just have it as that as that and you don't really the mod group id is not really that important unless you're going to publish it as a library for example but it's just good to have it so it just makes a uh, folder more concise the mod author is the person who's made the mod so for me it just be me and the description of mod what the mod is about usually not that long it just what the mod is actually about the license uh, for if you're if you're doing open source anything and you want people to be able to use it freely uh, you'd use a license MIT and that's pretty much it we don't really need to change anything here for the main for uh, for the main thing if you update your new forge version you also remember just update it here so uh, you want to head and just reload your changes and I'll be back once that's done all right, once your changes have loaded, now you should head over to your build.gradles file. In here, you don't really want to change much apart from just cleaning up your code. For example, here you can just remove these because then I'll show you want to add all the dependencies you need later on. For example, if you're going to do just you know, have everything, then you, you will add that later on. But you don't need that. You don't need the publishing because it's assumed that you won't be publishing anything. But if you do, you can just revert that change later on. You can. You can remove this. This this will allow us to change the access, the modifiers. For example, if you want to make something protected instead of private in a, one of the Minecraft classes, you do this. But we're not going to do that for the meantime. But we'll just keep it here. And uh, additionally, from 1.20.5 and above, Minecraft's Java version has gone from Java 17 to Java 21. So you just want to make sure it's set to that. And everything else you just want to keep the same all right now now we're going to create our first class so after you've created your package you want to go create a class called here we're going to call this class tutorial to tutorial tutorial mod and within tutorial mod you just want to have you want to have the box standard so first of all you want to just instantiate your mod ID so public static public static final string mod underscore id you want to make sure your mod id is uh the, the exact same as the one you hear so i just recommend just copying and pasting it so you don't don't make any spelling mistakes so that's fine and uh we want to set up a logger which we can use to debug and uh, log any errors i find this useful when sometimes some piece of code doesn't work and i'm just trying to find out what exactly the issue is so we're going to be a logger here and i'm going to do logger factory dot get logger and just the tutorial mod class all right, and now you just want to instantiate your constructor. So public class, so sorry, public uh, tutorial mod 
and in here we want to have uh, Ivan Buses. So it was near Forge. You don't you, before you you had to instantiate instantiate it uh, as a variable, but now near Forge all automatically recognizes that it's a bus and it'll just pass the parameter there. And in here, this is where you're gonna have all your registers. So for example, if you're gonna have register for items, blocks, arms, etc., then you'll instantiate it. Uh, then you'll just put it within this constructor but for now we're not going to add anything that we left for the for the next tutorials but one thing we will add is something called client.setup.class and in here we're going to do uh we're just going to call here fml client so event and then within here we're going to do the following so this will just be a, a logger info informing us that the mod has loaded and what the current version of the mod is so we're going to do fml.client.setup event we do in queue work and then within here, we're just going to do call a, a, a supplier. And, and in here, we're going to do the following. So we're going to do a mod list. So this is the list of all mods. And we're going to do get and get our, the mod container by ID. So that's basically our mod ID. So we want to get our mod. And if it's present, we just want to log that the mod is present. And in here, we're going to do, so we can say mod container. And in here, we're just going to say, you can say anything you want. So we can see, you can say hello from tutorial mod. And in total to mod, and you can then change this to say using using whatever version of the mod you're using. And so then once you, then you can run this by heading over to your Gradle and then pressing run client. Uh, oh yeah, once I forgot forgot to add the annotation uh, mod ID. So mod here. This is this is important. And in here we're going to have tutorial .mod ID. So Minecraft recognizes class and now if you just head over here and press run client and allow the game to basically load everything you need then you'll be able to see that uh, your mod is available uh, where, in available uh, in the mod section so I'll meet you back once that's run. Alright as you can see our Minecraft version has now loaded Neoforge 21.0.8 beta depending on version of Neoforge is using 3 mods loaded so you can see our mod has now loaded. And pretty much is so it has our information, the license we put, the author, the mod ID, and the name of the mod. So that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. So in the next tutorial, we're looking at uh, items, creative menu, and then a bit of data generation in regards to generating the textures for the items. All textures I'll be using uh, will be uh, available within the GitHub. So see you next week. Assalamu alaikum wa Peace out. Goodbye.